home appreciation. That's our topic on today's Backstage Pass. Well, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great day so far today. Stocks and bonds were up early in the morning trading session, but both have since lost ground. Mortgage rates are going to open or be at about the same as where they were yesterday. We'll talk more about that in just a minute, but first let's talk about home appreciation. So Case Schiller released their national home price index, and this is considered the gold standard for appreciation metrics here in the United States. And this showed that in the month of June, uh, home prices rose by six tenths of a percent, and year over year, they were at about 18%. Now that's a decline from the previous reading of 19.9% in May, but still strong. Appreciation is clearly slowing, slowing, but as of June, still increasing at a robust rate. I'm going to read you a quote real quick from Craig Lazara, who is from Case Schiller. And Craig Lazara had this to say, prices are clearly increasing at a slower rate. It's important to bear in mind that deceleration and decline are two entirely different things and that prices are still rising at a robust clip. June's growth rates for all three composites are at or above the 95th percentile of historical experience. For the first six months of 22, in fact, the national composite, composite is up 10.6%. In the last 35 years, only four complete years have witnessed increases that large. Now also FHFA released their data, their home price index. Now this, uh, this index is a little bit different than the Case Shiller index because it doesn't include cash buyers or uh, jumbo loan amounts. It only shows um, home prices for uh, loan uh, homes that have a conforming loan amount on them. So for FHFA, for the month of June, uh, reported that home prices rose one tenth of a percent and are up 16.2% year over year. That's a decline from the previous reading of 18.3%, but again, still very hot on an annual basis. Lastly, Apartment List released their rental data for the month of August. This showed that um, rental rates went up in the month of August by five tenths of a percent. It's about half of what the rental rate increase was for the month of July. And for August, rents were up 10% year over year. And just this year alone, uh, rents are up about 7.2%. Now onto the bond market. Again, we said um, bonds and stocks both opened up higher in the morning sessions, but are down. Mortgage bonds right now are down about 16 basis points at the time of recording. And all three of the major indexes for the US stock market are down right now as well. Um, they're both are not, um, they've come back up from their lows. So um, like the you know, mortgage bonds opened and got up to about 15 basis points up. Then they got down to about 20 basis points down. Now they're at 15 basis points, so they're you know, everything's kind of trading intraday in between the high and the low right now. Everything's kind of in the middle. Again, 10-year yield is up one basis point today. Uh, mortgage rates, uh, the 30-year average, national average for a 30-year fixed mortgage um, landed yesterday at about 5.95%. Remember, we said it could come in at around 6%. Landed at about 5.95%. Today, we expect to see that to be probably about the same. It just depends on how mortgage bonds continue to trade throughout the day. Now that's all the news that we have for today. Later this week, we've got ISM data. And then finally, we've got jobs data that's coming out on Friday. We'll bring that data to you as it comes. But until then, remember, stay positive. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer those questions. Make sure you leave them in a comment. Hope you have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.